why you might want to refresh your Tesla Model Y or Model 3 with that legendary yoke and stick around for a Model 3 giveaway. Welcome back to the Cobra Pit, whether you're a longtime viewer or a newest subscriber like Tech Dad Ness. I see you. I appreciate every single one of you. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. Okay, I am no stranger to the yoke steering wheel. I installed the yoke on my Model 3 two years ago, and I never took it off. If that doesn't tell you how I feel about it, I don't know what will. It made the car fun to drive, and it's definitely a unique experience. So I got my Model Y three weeks ago and tried to see if I would like using a standard round wheel or not. Well, we're here, aren't we? The OEM wheel feels thin, dainty, like it feels like it's lacking something. I yearned for my yoke. And this time I wanted white to match my interior. Okay, it's not perfect, but here's why I loved it. It makes your driving experience different. You've driven with a regular round steering wheel your whole life, so why not mix it up? The flat, wide bottom is very comfortable to hold while driving. Having your hand rest there is just enough weight to eliminate that annoying autopilot and full self-driving nag that reminds you to apply pressure to the wheel. It looks cool. I've gotten compliments. They don't make yokes for the Model 3 and Model Y, but if they did, it would probably look like this. This looks OEM. It's not too wild, crazy, or tacky. I can add my favorite phone mount in my favorite location and have an unobstructed view. And last but not least, my wife likes it. But I said it's not perfect, so here are some of the reasons why. That flat bottom with wide sides that I said were so comfortable for my upper body they sometimes get in the way of my knees when I want to lift them. I know I can raise the yoke, but then I'll lose that perfect ergonomical position. And then when using FSD and the wheel is turning, it's not as easy to grab as a wheel. You got to kind of find where it is. And then that's about it. I got it from Test Plus. A big benefit of going with Test Plus besides their quality is that they're local here in the United States. Shipping is faster. There's a representative for support during regular business times and trusted people from the Tesla community have visited their shop. But you don't need to go to the shop because the DIY installation is not that challenging. Also, I've taken in my Model 3 with the yoke to get a few services at Tesla and it hasn't been a problem at all. They haven't said a thing about voiding the warranty, so it's a non-issue. Just make sure that you have the proper tools. Links to everything is in the description. So first I powered off the car and then I went to disconnect the battery. Then you need two thin tools. I use these two Allen wrenches and this is how you release the airbag. You have to stick them in these little holes and release these metal clips. It does help if your steering wheel is in a proper orientation. Shaking my head. Disconnecting these cables can be frustrating. You can use needle nose pliers, they'll help out, but it's really just really getting them out. Be careful not to pull the cable themselves. Grab your wrench, extension, and 10 millimeter hex. Hold the wheel and unlock the bolt. Now, either this car wasn't as tight as my Model 3 was, or I've been hitting the weights. But actually, removing it off the mount was hard this time. So I did bang it around and then removed it. Comparing the two, you can see the difference in size and thickness. But the internals fit perfectly. Now you just swap out the guts from the OG to the newbie. You have to release all the screws and then pop the top off. Now it's Lego time. Just remove all the cables, transfer it over, and reinstall it. Now you just do everything in reverse. Go ahead and put it back in. Torque the bolt to 42 pounds. Reconnect the cables. Press in the airbag. Connect the battery. And enjoy your yoke. I felt right at home with the yoke. I, I just missed driving with it. I didn't try any unique ways of holding it this time. I just went with what feels comfortable and what my muscle memory does. So manually turning is no problem at all. It's second nature to me now and you'll get used to it pretty quickly as well. You just need to find the best positions for you and your hands, which you feel really comfortable with. I usually start at the top and then apply downward motion. Once you need to go hand over hand, that's no issue either. Parallel parking is a breeze. You'll know where to put your hands and how to maneuver around the yoke in no time. 
backing out of parking spaces. Now, this is just me naturally doing it, right? Not even thinking about it. I forgot I was recording. Nah, but seriously, I just did, went through the motions. Busting a U-turn, you guessed it, no problem. So honestly, I just prefer the yoke. I have a round wheel in my Model X, and it's easy for me to adjust going back and forth between the two. I don't know if it's for everyone, but I really like it. I mean, it makes driving different. Not saying it's better, but it's different. It's refreshing. Lastly, what's the best compliment to a fast car with a stylish yoke? A spoiler. Tesla Plus has a real carbon fiber spoiler that improves on Tesla's OEM one. It has a 100% fit on the trunk using their measurement technology. I installed one on my Model Y, but um, I have one for the Model 3 that I'm gonna give away to one of you. All you have to do is be a sub and in the comments type out spoiler alert. I'll randomly select one of you in the US and then I'll ship it out to you. That's just me and Test Plus saying thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. Good luck to you. And don't forget, Cobra told ya. All right, y'all.